It's challenging to test a child's vision before about age three when they can tell the doctor what they are seeing. But there are plenty of things to look for even before your child can speak to make sure his or her vision is developing normally. Parents themselves can identify possible problems with vision as early as two months. Tracking is probably the most important thing. A normal full-term child will start to, to fixate on objects and track those objects side to side as early as two to three months of age. Pediatricians start looking at a child's eyes beginning at birth, but there are lots of things parents can look for as well. If you see anything white or notice in photographs that your baby's pupil is white, it could be a sign a vision problem is developing, and parents can also spot alignment problems. If the eyes aren't lined up with each other, now drifting of the eyes is very common in early childhood, in early infancy, but a persistent crossing of the eye or drifting of the eye is also a sign. There are also specialized instruments for doctors to test vision in children between six months and three years. There's a number of different devices. Uh, some are called photo screeners, and it's simply shining light into the eye and looking at the reflection and the quality of the reflection back. And those are film-based, and those are excellent tools. These can identify lazy eye and other vision problems, but they are generally considered elective procedures, and they can be expensive. But there is a great deal a parent can spot just from looking into their child's eyes, something we do a lot of anyway. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.